I got more eBay packages. Part of one right now. I have another one come in. Hopefully it comes by Monday. It's like my subwoofer I really want. So let's move on. Get the shape label off. I haven't seen any updates since Wednesday, October 2nd. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. This can't keep me informed. I'm sure it's coming though. Oh, the package in California, though. It's very far away. I live in Ohio. Wrong tape. It's all double tape. Get her. Hopefully everything came in good condition. If not, I asked for a refund. If half of things came in bad condition, I could still get a refund. Half, like a partial refund. There's a ton of bubble wrap and stuff in there. So, first things first, here's a GE LED DEL 4 watt, 25 watt. It's a 4, 25 watts equivalent. It's 4 watts for the bulb. It's a G16.5. Actually, G16. Yeah. Not 16.5. It's the back of the package. I like these, actually. They're not that bad. Not all LED bad. Not all LED bulbs are bad. It's just the newer and cheaper ones. This is a reputable company. Like if it doesn't flicker the engine, it's not that horrible. This one's already like opened a bit. Not fully open. It has a GE 40 watts equivalent 4 watts. Using 4 watts flame shade bulb. It's a CAC candelabra base bulb. I don't know what CAC stands for. There's a GE 40 watts equivalent using 4 watts again. LED bulb, ceiling fan, LED A15. That's the media base. Not bad. Yeah, a lot of these LED bulbs are cheap. Not all LED bulbs are bad. This is like exceptional. Like I said. The ones in my room are fucking horrible. The ones on my ceiling, the, the Sansi ones, they're fucking horrible. Look at that. Or like a dead LED on that. And the quality light source LEDs are about to fail soon eventually. They're not going to last as long as they advertise. They only last like, like 10,000 hours, not 25,000 hours. That's so better than some of the shittier LEDs that only last a few months. Here's the same well, Don't need to say anything else about it. It's the candelabra base. Like, yeah, there's this thing that says they're all E12 base. Here's some very, here's a very older, old GE R20 LED bulb. Looks very nice, I like that. <laughs> it's like from 2013 or something like that. It has a classic like packaging and stuff. Not bad at all. It's only about 180 lumens. But I'm sure it's gonna hit off a lot of like lumens, small like light beam and stuff, the optics and stuff. Here's some Brent's 
150 watts, 2000 hours, 1280 lumens, halogen bulbs. So this is not as bright as your typical full 150 watt bulb. Typical 150 watt bulb is about 2700 lumens. This is only 1380 lumens. So I think it's 130 volts. It's supposed to like last longer. Yeah, most likely these last like 750 hours. Nope, it's 120 volts. That's very inefficient there. 1280 lumens. Very inefficient, not good. Should be at least like 2600 lumens. Some like halogen capsule thing. It's a bulb though. It's supposed to go on for your. It's supposed to go for like under cabin, like landscape lighting and stuff like that. It's a uh, 10 watts, 140 lumens. It's a T 2.5 bulb type. It's a G4 base. It just pins. And it's supposed to be operated at like 12 volts. Now 120 volts is all fucking blow up. <laughs> So definitely keep combustibles away from because even 10 watts will get very, 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 very hot. These halogen bulbs get really hot, like metal halide and stuff like that. Metal halide bulbs run cooler because the outer envelope. There's like a big like E, e like shaped glass globe over it or T shape or whatever. Here's the same one. There's a Sylvania, 40 watts, 185 lumens, 1,500 hour incandescent light bulb, the reflector bulb, mini flood light. Came in good condition. I don't hear glass rattling at all in there, and it's so really tiny and cute. Sucks that they don't make these. Quality has gone downhill for most light bulbs. For phones, though, but it depends on the product. I like my iPhone, it's real max, but not the newer light bulbs that failed in less than like a fucking year. This is like very good. Here's some GE 60 watts equivalent, temp using 10 watts, dim wall, fortunately. LED daylight bulbs. These are not bad. At least they have warranty and stuff. I think there's two bulbs in the package. Oh, there's wrapping in it. There's just one bulb. That's actually pretty heavy. Probably has proper heat sinking in there, unlike the newer shit bulbs that are offering. LED light bulbs are not for everybody. Some people complain about the flicker, but I don't really complain about it too much because I don't like to notice it. <laughs> not even staring at my light. I don't even get headaches, but we should still have a bulbs. bulb. I think it's ridiculous just to use LEDs. Like these aren't bad, but they're not great either. Here's some, here's the same like how to do the capsule. There's the same GE parts on the bulb. At least I have two of them. There's the same GE A50 bulb. It's like that one. Another GE 10 watts bulb. There's something cool. A GE Fluorescent 825 lumens, 13 watts, 10,000 hours, fluorescent light bulb. I'm sure I can connect this to like a PL adapter. I'm gonna find one on eBay soon. I should order one. More than just find one. Those are good, good bulbs. Are you supposed to run? Yeah, it's just the base run. 
the ball back and back down. Fuck. Anything broke here. Plus the package is already open a bit. Check one of these out. Don't want to damage the packaging, but I have to. Open it just damages it. I'm gonna set my camera down. Here it is. Very nice. Perfect shape. Set that aside. There are more in the box. More bulbs. Another perfect condition. GE. They're all 13 watts. Definitely equivalent of a 60 watts in this ball. And there's nothing else in the box. So yep, that's it. Got all the ball, all the box. Thanks for watching.